All right, Radio Row, Super Bowl week. Things are picking up. Puka Nakua is with us. I am very excited about this. He is joining us uh, on behalf of Pepsi. Uh, Billy, what is happening with Puka and Pepsi here? Because I want one of these jackets, and I'm hoping Puka Nakua can get one for me. <laughs> well, so Puka, congratulations. You're a finalist for the Pepsi Zero Sugar NFL Rookie of the Year Award. Thank you so much. And it's a huge blessing uh, to be uh, associated with Pepsi. I've been able to do some stuff with them back in L.A. and then also to be uh, one of the, hopefully one of the fan favorites to come away with this Pepsi award. Yeah. <laughs> is this your first interview today on Radio Row? This is my first right and early, good in the morning. Wait, hold on a second. No, this is his first time to Radio Row, I would assume, okay. right? Yes. That so then well. this, is yes. A, this, Puka, this is a moment that you're going to remember forever. Actually, you're probably going to forget it in like an hour. But this is a moment. <laughs> Me and Stugatz are here. We're doing this show, God Bless Football, with you. This is your first time at Radio Row. You had a great season. You may be the Pepsi Zero Rookie of the Year. He will be. Right? So <laughs> you're going to be a big star. Yep. And here's the thing. When you're a big star... You're going to forget about us, and you're going to forget this moment. So we need to make a pact right now that you're going to remember us as being the first ones to do this with you. And then whenever we see you moving forward, you're like, that's my guy. Yes, that's sir. Billy over there. Billy, uh, Billy and Stu, I'm going to tell them, Pepsi, hey, we, uh, we need uh, three jackets of this one yes, right here. That's for my right. Yeah, that's right. That's right. You got us looking fresh. We need it. Still, uh, Billy and Stu, we need an XL for both of them, please. Mm -hmm. And yes. my guy, Juju, what you at? XL, Juju. 2X. I'm, I'm a Schmidian. Yeah. Yeah. He's a Schmidian. Yeah, he likes things. Tight. Listen, they're not making XLs like they used to, okay? So a double XL for me, if you don't. Jeez, you've got it. Jeez, this is a double XL. There's no way you fit Triple double XL, XL for me. Then. Jesus. And Puka, how'd you last in the fifth round, man? How the hell? Oh, man. Uh, it, was, it was definitely a crazy journey. Um, I think back to how long ago the draft and that combine was. But yeah. uh, just a blessing that, I mean, the Rams took me. I just believing in myself and just trusting the process for sure. Yeah, uh, it's it's amazing. You had such a uh, you had such a great year, uh, and and you know, kind of a disappointing ending. But I, I was wondering, like, had, as you guys were playing that game against Detroit, knowing how bad Detroit's been for so long, knowing how much that game meant to that city, was there a part of you that like kind of felt good for the Detroit fan base, even while losing? No a game? way. Oh. You never know, Billy. Puka's <laughs> a nice guy. Yeah. Puka is a nice guy. Puka man. is happy to lose. He's like, you know what? No, I just but, really feel good for Detroit. No, Puka, I don't care about out. winning. Two days later, uh, you have some out. reflection. No, two days later, you have some reflection. You know what? I'm a rookie. I'll have plenty of opportunities. All right, to get back to that spot, Detroit. They're never getting back to that spot. <laughs> what a ridiculous question. So. Puka, if you lose Rookie of the Year, you're just going to be happy for anyone who wins it. Like, no, get out of here. Let him answer that. Let's see. <laughs> no, definitely. Uh, there was a, a, a lot of sleep loss after that Detroit game for sure. And, uh, yeah, but two days later. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, I, uh, Big Panay Sue, I told him we, I lost to him in high school. So he's, he's like, yeah, I got my win back. And I was like, I, that, one, that one hurt me. That one hurt me for a long time. Yeah. So definitely not. Uh, that wasn't cheering for the Detroit fans, though. <laughs> if I told you before, before the season started, you were going to to have the season that you just had you would have told me what because you were you, crazy man <laughs> you, you were crazy man <laughs> yeah, yeah i was like man, you've been you've been uh, doing the little mystic readings too often <laughs> <laughs> how cool was it watching that video that came out a couple weeks ago where it was the rams and like how they were watching your team like if he's still around this is going to be a steal for us yeah uh, i that that was actually it was it was so cool to kind of see the, the process of them and then especially if uh, i thought of like the one thing of like uh, that gave me so so much confidence in that clip was seeing Coach McVeigh of like how we can use him in the pass game, how we can use him in the run game, and just I feel like that's some of the things that I, uh, the confidence that was in myself that kept me going in the process of like guys were passing me up, and then the, the team that took me has saw, like saw all the things that I knew I was capable of, so it made me feel really good. Had you seen that before it went out, or no? Because, like, when they're drafting you, they say that to everybody, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, like, you don't, you don't know if they actually are saying this about you, because they're just someone you took you, you right before, yeah. they would have said that about the next guy. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, like, when you see it, you're like, oh, shit, they like, they really believed in me. Yeah, 100%. Yeah, I hadn't seen it before, so it was, like, a real thing, and it was just like, yeah, it was Coach McVay's the man, so to hear those things come out of his mouth were, were I'm wondering, fire. I'm wondering if you had seen or heard this before. So, we have this guy that works on our show. His name is Greg Cody. He's a writer for the Miami Herald. He also thinks that he's a great singer. Mm. And he wrote a song about you. He did. And then it was going around. And I believe your brother had retweeted and put it out there. So I don't know if it's gotten to yet. But we told him that we were going to be talking to you. And all he wanted to do was hear this song. And they can play it now in our headphones for you oh, to hear sweet. it. Yeah. But he wrote a song about you. This show loves you. This is a tribute to you. Okay. <laughs> Much right. love. Okay. This <laughs> quarterback is not named Puka 
Yeah, the okay, no, I'm gonna... Ooh, yes, you're gonna start like singing it. it. I'm I telling like you right it. now, I walk around my house, I sing it all day. <laughs> it's good, right? I like it. All right, that it's is courtesy, nice of, beat. courtesy of Greg Cody. Yeah. He's gonna be so happy that, that you like that. I want to play it again. <laughs> I right. want to. Right. I'll, ta I'll take the, the, the PDF file of that. You can send oh, it to you my know phone. What? We're gonna send that to you. <laughs> if, if Puka, if you weren't gonna remember us before, we're gonna be probably the only ones that played you a song about you. <laughs> <laughs> I would think so, maybe. <laughs> yeah. All right, so Puka, we have a deal here. Again, he's with us on behalf of Pepsi, okay? As you continue to ascend, all right, uh, throughout your career, you become, you know, a, a Hall of Famer one day, hopefully. You will remember both me, Billy, well, all three of us, Ed Juju as well, correct? <laughs> yes, sir. Okay. <laughs> okay. You signed so, the big deals with, like, Oakley, or you signed the big deals with, like, Nike, whatever, like, oh, who should we send stuff to? Like, it's a new Puka <laughs> shoe, like, oh, you know what? Billy, size 12, we're going to send him some. Yes, yeah. sir. <laughs> what, what surprised you most about the NFL uh, in your first year? Um, I guess that we, nobody, like, uh, we, the amount of time that everybody spends outside of the locker room, like, yeah. in the facility, but not in the locker room together, like, right. at, in the in the cafeteria, in the training room, sure. like, in the weight room, like, that's where I try to get Coop and them to, like, play a little pickup, like, pig at the, at the back of the facility and stuff like that, <laughs> but it was, like, I thought, like, at the locker room in college, like, that's where they have all the games, they have the ping pong tables, everybody has the big crazy lockers now, so it's, like, that was, like, kind of the opposite, whereas we were hanging in the cafeteria having a blast. <laughs> Did you have a welcome to the NFL moment this year? Yeah, week one, I got put, I got, I got put on my butt. I was at, I had a pooling play where I'm, I'm going back to insert in the C gap, and as soon as I was getting ready to insert, I'm looking up at the sky, and both my feet are off the ground, and I was like, that, that's not how the play was supposed to end up for sure. <laughs> Who got you? Do you know? <laughs> it was one of the de the defensive tackles. I don't even know, but I that's why it was like a blur. I was looking there, and then I was up in the sky, and I was like, that's that was coach is going to be pissed at that one. <laughs> All right, man. Well, good luck with the uh, rookie of the year, and uh, thank you for joining us. I look forward to getting my jacket. Yeah, yes, sir. Jacket. <laughs> Lots of yes. cherry Pepsi, Pepsi Zero Sugar, all exactly. that. Exactly. The wild cherry goes crazy. Congratulations <laughs> to you, man. Continued success. Thank you so much. All right, enjoy the day.